4 asks me to find the radius of a sphere that has a mass of 10 grams and a density of 1.67 grams per centimeter cubed. Density, 1.67 grams per centimeter cubed. We know the mass to be 10 grams. I want the radius. Since this is a sphere, I'm going to look up the volume formula for a sphere, which is 4 thirds pi r cubed. If I want to solve for the radius, I need the volume. For me to get the volume, I'm going to use the density and the mass. Density equals mass over volume. My density is in the units of grams per centimeter cubed, so my mass will be in units of grams. And when I get my volume, it's going to be in centimeters cubed, which is exactly what I want it in. 1.67 equals m which I know, and the mass is 10, over my volume. Cross multiplying, I will have volume equals 10 over 1.67. 10 divided by 1.67 gives me 5.99. This is units of centimeter cubed. Now that I have volume, I can plug it in here, and I'll be able to solve for the radius. This gives me 5.99 equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now in my calculator, I'm going to multiply each side by 3 fourths. So taking this 5.99 times 3 over 4 gives me now 4.49 equals pi r cubed. I'm going to divide each side by pi. So I'm going to, so divided by 3.14, I now have 1.43 equals r cubed. I need to take the cube root of this number. So on my calculator, I do 1.43 to the 1 third power. That's the easiest way for me to do it. To the 1 third. This gives me the radius of 1.13, and this radius is in the units of centimeters. If my volume is in centimeters cubed, all of my dimensions will be in centimeters, and that's a helpful thing to know.